Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakach Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful little Akim out there. Pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work as Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahweh has created us to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations. That may look like the heathen nations. But your father's seed line and your lineage goes back to you being a so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American. One of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. A Shalom. It's your brother Halak here from the GMS Denver camp coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shah with another video. And we're going to go right into it, man. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11, it says, Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. And that's exactly what we see in the earth. And this is inspired, as always, through the Holy Spirit. But as I was scrolling through my uh, YouTube timeline, I, ca I came across a reel, man, of this guy named uh, Andrew Tate, <clears throat> who's big in, you know, the internet space right now. And he's going to talk about how there is no fear of the most high on the earth. And that's because there's no fear of the most high being taught in the earth. Because there's no there, there's uh, no one teaching the consequences of sin. So it's fully set in the hearts of the humans of the earth, these mortals on the earth, to do whatever they want to do. Just because judgment doesn't come in an instant. You see? Because a lot of this shit that you people are doing in this earth, if the most I was judging you <laughs> instantly, there would be no one left on the earth. Once again, there is no fear of the Most High in this place, man. It's because the wicked are being ruled, the wicked being the Edomites. You see, chiefly, the house of Amalek, which are the so-called Jews, since these people are ruling the earth, all you see happening is wickedness, depravity, degeneracy, rape, robbery, and murder. You see, this is all you see in the earth, man. And it's all because the fear of the Most High God, Yahweh, the God of the Bible, you see, Alashadja, you see, the fear of him is not being taught. You see, what, what's being propagated in the earth is, is God, the God of the Bible. You see, the almighty creator of the heavens and the earth is some type of pushover. You see, this is the image that's being uh, portrayed of the Most High and his son. They're pushovers. They're not going to do anything. You can come as you are. God loves everybody. Love, 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 love makes the world go round. You see? This is the bullshit that you've been given. You see? When it comes to the uh, the almighty God, Yahweh. But when you go into his scriptures, when you go into the words that he's spoken, you see? That bullshit that you've been getting from Christianity, that you've been force fed from Christianity, doesn't add up to what's written in these scriptures. Now, Andrew Tate is a Muslim. You see, and Islam is a false fucking doctrine. Point blank, period. The Quran is a piece of shit. I'm going to say it again. The Quran is a piece of shit. And I'm going to say it one more time. The Quran is a piece of shit. You see? It's a worthless fucking book. The only nugget that's in that book is when it tells you that the Israelites are the chosen people. That the Israelites are the holy people. You see? That's the only good thing in the book. That's the only truth it speaks. Other than that, we wipe our ass with the Quran. You see, we serve the almighty God of the Bible, man. The God of the Hebrews. You see? And he's a terrible demon-like power. And we're going to show you some of the things that the Most High is about to do in this earth, man. Yahweh Ba'a Shemi Yahweh is about to instill fear back in this earth in a major way. It's coming. You see? Let me get one more, then I'm going to get the real, real quick. 
Hebrews 10 and 31, because this the, the, the God that you've been force fed in Christianity, that ain't the same God of the Bible, man. You see? Hebrews 10 and 31 says what? It's like it. It is a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. Why? Because the Most High is terrifying, man. You see? Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah is terrifying that he can torment you in ways that you can't even understand. This ain't being told. That ain't being told to you in Christianity. You've been told to come as you are. God accepts you however you come, and that's not the case. That is not the case, man. It's a fearful thing to fall into the hands of the living power. And he's going to put that on full display in these final seconds of Esau's kingdom. Now let's play this video real quick. Let's see. Let's see. History. Right here. Can I ask you a question? All right, did you convert to uh, Muslim? It's Islam. Did you convert to Islam? Oh. It's a lot here. I did convert to Islam. Wait, I'm with um. Uh, can I ask you a question? All right, did you convert to uh, Muslim? It's Islam. I don't know why the side is so low. Oh, yeah, I'm with uh, Can I ask you a question? All right, did you convert to uh, Muslim? It's Islam. Did you convert to Islam? Oh, yes, I did convert to Islam. Wait, can I make something very clear, sir? I'm really sorry that if in any way Jews are disrespectful to Muslims, I love. And hey, you are not the true Jews. We are. The Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are the true chosen people. Not those gutter rats who are living in the land of Israel today, portraying themselves to be us. They have co uh, committed the greatest act of identi identity theft, you see, the world has ever seen. Everybody, no matter what you are, who you are, what color skin you are, what religion you practice, I don't care what you do, what your beliefs are. I love you for, I love you for people. I don't look at skin, I don't look at any of that shit, so please don't. Good. Thank you. Good. Me too. Okay, you converted to Islam. Uh, how's that? How, how's um, how's that going for you? It's a beautiful religion, and it's the only way to truly find God, because I believe God. And that's bullshit, because Islam doesn't lead you to the one true living power. It leads you to a fucking idol. You see that rock they dance around at Mecca, man? That's a false idol. That's not the God of the Bible. You see? There's only one God. You see, there is only one God, and this guy Andrew Tate is an Israelite, so he he's walking in the spirit of rebellion, doing as the Israelites always do, worshiping these false idols. <laughs> and the Bible even tells you that, real quick. They might start the whole thing over. Let's play this. Film. Let's strong, fearsome force, and I think that not many, enough religions respect him in that regard or understand. And why is that? Is because the wicked bear rule and they have betrayed the Most High God. You see the Almighty, Yahweh, as a pushover, like I said earlier. That's why there is no fear of the Most High on the earth. This is why you look in the earth and everybody's just doing whatever they, they, they want to do. You see, not taking into consideration that there are consequences for their actions. See, people are just, just burning Bibles, shooting Bibles, spitting on the Bible. You see? Commend all manner of homosexual acts, acts of lesbianism, acts of transgenderism, eating all manner of abominable meat, worship, worshiping all manner of these abominable idols, you see, walking in the spirit of pride and arrogancy, not giving the most highest credit for uh, uh, the creation, coming up with pseudoscience to try to, uh, to try to get around what the most highest truly created. All this is happening because the wicked is being ruled, man. And the fear of the Most High is not being taught in the earth. And them in that way. Marshallah, Andrew. This nigga goof. But I just wanted to prove that point because he made a good point. The majority of the religions, let me say all the religions of the world, you see, all the religions that these heathen have been teaching, they have not been teaching the fear of the Most High, man. You only get the... the uh, you only get that when you come to the men of the Lord. We are the only ones who are teaching the true fear of the almighty God of the Bible, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the God of the Israelites. 
we're teaching you and telling you that the God of the Bible is going to destroy a lot of people through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah. You see, who's also being painted and portrayed as a pushover. You see, portraying him, portraying him as this character, Jesus Christ. That's not the, that's not the Messiah of the Bible, man. You see? That's not the Messiah of the Bible, man. Jesus Christ is not the true Messiah. Yahweh Shah is. And even Yahweh Shah told you out of his own mouth that what? Matthew 10 and 34. He lets you know how he was coming. It says what? Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. But when you go into Christianity, they're, they're telling you the opposite. They're telling you that so-called Jesus Christ is coming back to, 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 to love everybody, coming back in the, to, to, for, uh, to bring everybody uh, to bring peace to the earth. No. Red letter lets you know who's speaking right here. The true Messiah of the Bible says what? Think not that I'm coming to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. Why? Because he's coming to judge. He's coming to make a great slaughter in the earth, man. This is what the true uh, Messiah of the Bible is coming to do. And that's all according to the true God of the Bible. You see, the almighty God, Yahweh. This great slaughter that Yahweh Shah is about to commit in the earth by destroying a lot of you people is all according to the will of the almighty God, Yahweh, man. We are the only ones who tell you what the Bible truly says. We are the only ones who are pushing the vibration of fear of the almighty God, Yahweh, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, in the earth. Islam ain't doing that. You see? The religion of Islam is centered in idol worship, man. That's what it was. Yup. Psalms 96 and 5 says what? For all the gods of the nations are idols. But Yahweh, you see? Who is Yahweh? Yahweh is the creator of the heavens and the earth. It's like it. There it is. But Yahweh made the heavens. Our God made the heavens, man. The only God. He is the only God that exists. There are no gods beside him. You see? There's only one God, man. He's the God of the Hebrew Israelites. And he's a vengeful God, man. He's a terrifying God, man. And he's sending his son back to the earth in that same spirit. To do what? To kill. All these things that you see happening in the earth. Babies being put to death. Children being eaten by alligators. Fucking roller coasters falling apart. People falling off the off of fucking buildings and murder and all that. Hey, look, man. The Most High is causing all these things to happen. None of this stuff is happening on their own. The Most High is allowing these... These deaf angels to run rampant in the earth. And he's going to turn it up very soon, man. This is what the God of the Bible is ordained to be in the earth for a time. This is the same God that flooded the earth and saved only eight people. He hasn't changed. He's about to pour his wrath out. He's about to pour wrath out into the earth, man. In a great way. And a lot of people are about to be put to death. And who's going to do all this? The almighty God, Yahweh, through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah. This is what the Bible really speaks of, man. Not this bullshit that you've been force fed in the Christian church. Not that bullshit that you've been force fed in the Catholic church. You see? Let's get this real quick. What is that? Deuteronomy? Uh, what was it? 29 and 32 or 32 and 39? Listen to what the Almighty has to say, man. Deuteronomy 32 and 39 says what? See, now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. <sighs> Come on, man. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See, now that I, even I am he, and there is no God with me. Meaning what? The gods that these heathen nations serve? You see the same gods that you Hebrew Israelites are, 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 are fucking in the state of confusion worshiping? There are no gods, man. They don't exist. 
Buddha doesn't exist. He's not real. Jesus Christ is not real. You see? Allah is not real. There is only one almighty Yahweh, the God of the Bible, and his only begotten son, Yahweh Shah, the true Messiah and Savior of the, of the Bible, man. That is it. And what do they do? It says what? I kill and I make alive. You see? I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. So anytime you get a paper cut, you see, you break your arm. You have to get stitches. You get shot. All that is of Yahweh Bashum, Yahweh Shah, man. All these crazy things we see happening in the earth is all because the Most High ordained it to be. You see? I wound and I'm I wound and I heal, neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. You see? Everything is in the palm of the Almighty God's hand, man. <laughs> and now that power, that power that the, the Almighty has, he's bestowed that power unto his son, Yahweh Shai. So the most high's will can be fulfilled. What's the other one? Isaiah 45. Real quick, Isaiah 45 and 7, man. It says what? Listen, listen to the Most High. Oh, man. We'll start at 45. Isaiah 45 and 4. <laughs> Isaiah 45 and 3. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness and hidden riches of secret places. And what is that? This truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. He's given that unto his remnant. This is how we're coming into the understanding of how fearful the Most High is, man. And walking in the, and walking in the fear of the Most High and conducting ourselves uh, uh, according to the Most High's order is wisdom. You see? The rest of the world, they don't have that. They're walking in the spirit of rebellion, especially two-thirds of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. But it goes on to say what? That thou mayest know that I, Yahweh, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. And Malachi 3 and 6 tells you that the Most High God changes not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. He's still the God of Israel, man. And it speaks about that in the book of Luke chapter 1. Verse 45, 45. Verse, verse 4 says what? For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect. For Jacob, my servant's sake, and Israel, mine elect. I have called thee by thy name. I have surnamed thee, though thou hast not known me. And what does the most I mean by that? You always had our people walking in that spirit of rebellion as as we've seen in that video, Andrew Tate talking about what? He's a Muslim. No, you're an Israelite. And you're supposed to be serving the God of the Bible. You're supposed to be serving the God of Israel, man. You see? That's the spirit of a, a lot of our people are walking in. Even though the Most High surnamed us Israel, the majority of our people don't know the Most High because they're gone in the, in, in, in the worshiping of idols, man. Verse 5 says what? I am Yahweh and there is none else. There is no God beside me. So all these images you Israelites are worshiping, those images are false. There is only one God, man. It says, well, I girded thee, though thou hast not known me, that they may know from the rising of the sun, from the east, and from the west, that there is, no, there is none beside me. I am Yahweh, and there is none else. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, Yahweh, do all these things. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? The Most High is in control of everything. So your energy is misplaced, Andrew Tate. You're not supposed to be worshiping so-called Allah. You're supposed to be worshiping, worshiping the God of the Bible as in, as in Hebrew Israelite, man. That's the God you're supposed to be fearing. That's because he's the only God. You see that? Let's get... Come on, man. 
Amos 3 and 6 says what? Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and Yahweh have not done it? So when you see evil happening in the city, man, when you see all manner of craziness going on, it's all of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, the one true living God, man. That's why all these things happen in the earth. And now, once again, that power that the Most High has, he's bestowed that upon his son, Yahweh Shah. And now Yahweh Shah is running the show in the same spirit his father was in when he was, <laughs> when he was casting out all that judgment, man. You see? Now let's show you what type of spirit the Lord is coming back in. To show you the God you're supposed to be fearing because he's coming to put a lot of people to death, man. Isaiah 66 and 15, it says what? Now listen to this. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind to render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. And the slain of the Lord shall be many. Do you hear that, man? This is the spirit that the Most High sent Yahweh Shah back in. A spirit of destruction. You see? A spirit of judgment. I want to see what it says, see what it says in the GNT. Isaiah 66 and 15. Yeah, the Lord will come with fire. He will ride on the wings of a storm to punish those he is angry with. By fire and sword, he will, he will punish all the people of the world whom he finds guilty. Guilty of what? Guilty of walking in the spirit of rebellion, walking in the spirit of sin, man. Walking in the spirit of wickedness. He's coming to punish you. He's, is he coming to do it with a pillow fight? No, he's coming to make a great slaughter, man. You see? And many will be put to death. Why ain't this being talked about in the church, man? This is this is supposed to be teaching the fear of the Most High. Something we don't see happening in the earth because guess what? The Most High hasn't been portrayed in the right light, man. Once again, he's been painted as some pussy pushover, man. And that's not the Most High. He's coming to put many people to death, man. Many people. Let's get to some real quick. This is Jeremiah. Let's see if I can get on the first try. 32 and 25. Let's see. That's right. Damn it. <laughs> it's 25 and 32. <laughs> Jeremiah 25 and 32. <laughs> Sheesh, man. Yep. Jim, I'm getting in GNT. It says what? The the Yahweh Almighty says that disaster is coming on one nation after another. And a great storm is gathering at the far ends of the earth. That great storm is talking about that chariot that the Lord Yahweh Shah is going to come on. Our Lord is going to return back to the earth in a gigantic so called UFO. This is how he's coming back to do what? To punish the world for their wickedness. You see? It says what? Verse 33. On that day, the bodies of those whom, Yah whom the Lord has killed will lie scattered from one end of the earth to the other. Do you hear that? This is the true nature, you see, of one of the sides of the Almighty Yahweh. And, and guess what? His son is in that same spirit. The one you ignorantly call Jesus Christ. The one you paint up in these churches as being this fucking soft, fucking stringy hair, blue eyed, so-called white boy. He's coming to make a slaughter in the earth, man. He's in the same spirit his father is in. The one you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, whose true name is Yahweh Shah, which is a so-called black man, is not some pushover. Is not some weakling, man. He's he's a man's man. You see? The true alpha, man. 
and he's coming to lay bodies down. Man, woman, and child. And the only ones who are going to escape this are those who believe upon the only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. Those who have that thawa, that mark of exemption from judgment. If you don't have that, your ass is done. Jeremiah 25 and 33. On that day, the bodies of those whom the Lord has killed. Why, why ain't the Christians talking about the Lord killing when he come back? They don't tell you that in the church. And, and, and why is he coming to kill people? Just like we just like we read in Isaiah 66. He's coming to kill those who he finds guilty. Guilty of what? Of sin. What is sin? The transgression of the laws. What are some of these laws that are being transgressed? Being a homo. Being a lesbian. Eating abominable meats. Worshiping idols. Murder. You see? Pharmaceutical drugs, which is witchcraft. Hell. Smoking weed, which is witchcraft. You see, disorder, women thinking they have authority over men. If you, in the, if you women are in that spirit when the Lord returns, he's going to put your ass to death. Those who are out here living in the spirit of wickedness are those who the Lord is going to find guilty. And they are the ones who are going to be killed when the Lord comes back, man. <laughs> You see, but this ain't being taught in the earth only, but in, let me say it like this. This ain't being taught no way else except for by the men of the Lord, man, through the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Now it goes on to say what? Jeremiah 25 and 33. On that day, the bodies of those whom Yah the Lord has killed will lie scattered from one end of the earth to the other. No one will mourn for them. And they will not be taken away and buried. They will lie on the ground like piles of, of manure or like piles of shit. This is how bad it's about to be in the earth, man. You see? But you ain't been told this. Only the true men of the Lord are teaching you the true fear of Yahweh Shemi Shah, which is about to be poured upon this earth in in in, in uh <sighs> In a, in a massive way, I, don't need, I can't even find a word to even describe how bad it's going to be, man. You see, but this is how the, this is this is what the Most High is all about, right here, or one of His many sides. Let me say that because the Most High is also compassionate. But we're entering into a time of judgment, like it tells you. There's a time and season for everything under the sun, and and we are in the season of judgment being poured out. You see. So I'll end it right there, man. I might I might even do a part two to just to go into some some more of the judgments that the most high is gonna bring upon this place to show you that he should be feared. You see? What we're breaking down right here is is is, is the nature of the, the, the one true living power, man, the almighty God, Yahweh. You see? This is who he truly is. Not that bullshit that you've been forced fed in the Christian church. Not that, and, and, and you definitely ain't finding this, the God of the Bible right here. You see, the almighty Yahweh ain't no damn Islam, man. You see, only our God is about to do these things. She thus saith the Bible, thus saith Yahweh, about Shemia, with that. I'm going to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Rekakudash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible. Through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, and a sincere peace and salutation to all you, hopefully, let I came out there pushing this word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah is created us to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Abba, Babal.